As we bring our horse along and we start to decide where we're going to take all this fun training, we may decide that we like to do, go to the Western world of speed events. Sometimes we call that play day, and it may begin with something like pole bending. All of those skills that we had been working on to bring that horse to that performance where we can place their feet anywhere that we choose will be of an advantage as we go towards these events. It's very important when you introduce your horse to any speed event, we think about it as better to go slow than fast. Any horse that has that intuitive desire to go fast is not going to have any trouble finding their next gear. However, if we introduce them too quickly and allow them to go fast before they go slow, there is that risk of what we refer to in the industry as getting them to where they may blow up. A horse that loses his focus, cannot, cannot go through in an organized fashion, will not be the best in the outcome. Our horse right now is walking quietly through in a relaxed fashion, being able to mentally focus on the pattern of this game. The rider's using good leg cues to leg yield this horse so that we get him going through the poles in the most straight on fashion. We don't want a horse that fish tails or makes big wide half circles. We want a horse that maintains the straightest line without knocking down the poles. So we've got to have that nice bending around the inside leg as the horse goes through and learns to stay away from the pole, not dropping his shoulder into the pole, but going through weaving it in a very good way. Once we establish the horse in this quiet and easy fashion, we can move him up and take him on through as we go to a faster pace. It's important that we always learn the rules of the game. We've got to have the correct pattern if we're ever going to come out on top because an incorrect pattern is a certain disqualification. We also want him to do it well because if we knock down a pole, that's going to add five seconds to our time. I like to share with my riders what's the difference between a great pole bender and a good pole bender? A mere one second sometimes, and that's not a lot of time to make up, and certainly you don't want to add five to it.